All right, Kara, time now for better food. You're probably familiar with your standard pasta salad. Well, today we're taking it up a notch with Chinese noodles and Japanese sesame oil. Mm, it smells amazing. Hello. Here, James O'Shea from oh, the West Street Grill is Hi. here. You're showing us how to make this very colorful pasta yes, salad. A very simple um, sesame noodles. Okay. They can be simple, simple or complex. This, uh, this is, um, I just have a number of ingredients here, but it's very easy to make. I do need sesame paste uh, and some soy sauce, rice vinegar, a little sugar, and, and garlic and ginger and then you mix them all up. So in here, I have some uh, Chinese sesame paste and peanut butter. I'm going to add in a little garlic in here. And can, James, can you get that at any supermarket? Uh, mostly, you'll mostly get the uh, the Chinese sesame paste at Asian markets. At an eight, like Do Adong? I have it at Adong, Adong okay. in, in New Britain yeah. has it. Okay. Uh, so garlic, uh, ginger, like rice Trader vinegar. Joe's, Whole Foods? They, they have would have versions of that, yes. Okay. Soy sauce, a little sugar. Um, and uh, chili paste? Chili bean paste, a little bit of that. Oh, can you buy that at the supermarket? Uh, you can buy them. There's a number of them. And then sesame oil. And just pour all of those in together. That's It's quite simple. You just simply mix them. So it's, there's so little to do with this thing. You just get this homogenized and blended or emulsified, really. And um, and just let, keep mix it until it's smooth. And then you will uh, boil the noodles for three to four minutes or follow the packet directions. So, on and the these noodles. are the noodles here? Because I was those thinking. Those are the noodles, yes. Yes. So those, are the, those are really good for sesame. They're long life noodles. Plain and just, noodles yeah. thin. Yes. And it whips into a beautiful sesame thick paste like this. Where'd you find those? I found those at Adong. Adong. Adong has everything you will need for this. And the other big thing that you might want to look at there at Adong would be this uh, sesame, sesame paste. paste. Sesame paste. That, that's that's okay. a really good one. And this um, is sort of like you could use this for the noodles, but if you if you love those Asian inspired flavors we get when we go out, yes. this is something you can use for other things, maybe like chicken satay or uh, you could use it for anything. It's a really amazing flavored peanut butter uh, sesame uh, sauce dressing. Yep. You can use it on vegetables, a light amount on vegetables, and you could use it like you said for chicken satay. Anything that requires peanuts and um, and uh, all the Asian flavors like we just mentioned, the soy sauce and all these things is yeah. a bit more there. Can you do you use ramen noodles there, James? Uh, I think ramen noodles are, are a little better in the broth. They might break in this one. Okay. They might not, they might not be so good. So you just mix these up. You just want something you can put in the microwave? Absolutely. <laughs> no, this is actually, believe it or not, the noodles only take two to three minutes to... Uh, in boiling water. That's to, right. In boiling water. They only take two to three minutes to cook. A good three, let's say. And then they are long-life noodles. These are very long noodles. What is it? Uh, oh, you mean like they... The longer the noodle in Asian, you know, mythology, they think. You know, the longer the noodle, the longer you live. And, oh, and right. like I didn't know that. Yeah, and so these are, these, so are, these are long life noodles, and they're very good. Now, all of these ingredients, like I said, like you have soy sauce, which is a light soy sauce. Yeah. You have rice wine vinegar, um, sesame oil. These are all pretty much part of everybody's kitchen. Certainly garlic, ginger, and chilies are, cilantro is. All of these things are very available to everybody everywhere. Can, yeah. can we just go back to the long noodle thing yes. here? If it breaks, am I in trouble? No, you're fine, because these will get pretty long. See, like this, and then the Chinese, when they eat them, or Asians, when they eat noodles, they bring them up to their mouth and they, they inhale them. And they, they like do they, slurp, it's they okay. Slurp. Is they that okay? See, slurping is totally okay. Because if I went yes. on this type of diet, I would lose 10 pounds because I can never get anything on those chopsticks. These, and these, these are, these are, uh, these are uh, pretty, these, those chopsticks are quite easy They have chopstick to use. helpers. Like yes. When you go to a Japanese restaurant, they have yeah. them for the kids. You could yeah. do the chopstick oh, yeah? helpers. And okay. so you have them nice and long like that. And then always when you make a salad like this, you want to uh, add other components. So I always add uh, julienne of, uh, of uh, cucumber, cilantro, chopped scallions, yeah. and, and keep it simple. You can also buy a pre-made, what's called Chinese salad dressing, a Chinese oh, salad paste. Oh, that's close. Pre-made uh, at uh, Edon, good. and you can mix that with just some soy sauce, and that, that would pretty much cover it's for so you make it, and make it very quick it and very delicious. easy. Is this going to be on the uh, menu at uh, West Street? Things are always on and off the menu. Um, yeah. Always. This is, this is most often a, a staff meal. Because the staff love this. Oh, is this for us? Is this yes, this is a little sample. I, I actually cut the noodles because I, I didn't want to destroy your, be block. your beautiful Our aromatic. lives are not so long with these yes. noodles. Yeah, and they're, they're delicious. And those chopsticks are easy to work with. They stick together. Mm -hmm. I deal with the chopstick. You just hold the base like this and then use the top. And it's just the top. top. Yeah, it's hold very, bottom, very simple. Yeah. Let me try. Yeah, it's very simple. Think of the bottom one as your brace. You Lock don't move the, the bottom you only one. Move and then the top. it's very, very easy. Okay. Very simple, like that. Hang on.
Like, oh, say that? You see, you're going, you know, you can slurp and make a big, big slurpy noise. I don't know if you've ever had the privilege of being on a farm and you feed pigs. They really get into it. They make a lot of lovely noise. Of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're so happy. I just slurp myself and choke myself. But, uh, they are you saying that a really lot of funny. lovely noises, that your noises are lovely? Exactly. And what are your kids bombing? <laughs> Pig. <laughs> Pig. <laughs> no, they but don't. But this is do okay. If you, yeah. Yes, they do. But if you yeah. if you eat um, with chopsticks and yeah. you're allowed to slurp, that's all you need to yeah. do, mm -hmm. Scott. Because maybe yeah. with the fork, it's not working for you. But the chopsticks, you're supposed to slurp. That is yeah. delicious. And always, I always use organic sugar because it's filtered. They filter with charcoal, so it's always really good to use um, uh, an organic sugar. The sesame one is always Japanese. The Japanese make great products, and the soy sauce. They make superior uh, products than anybody else in Asia when you're using okay. ingredients. The best ingredients for those things tend to be Japanese. They have okay. the best ones. They have the All best right. ones. Yes, they do. All right, well, I hope La Choi makes this because I'm looking for it on the shelf <laughs> in the supermarket. Just go to the West Street Grill. You can visit James <laughs> at the West Street Grill. He'll give you the staff meal. Uh, the restaurant's located at 43 West Street in Litchfield. About to head into that time where it's just mm, so beautiful. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Autumn, the leaves are really changing. There's going to be road races. A great time to visit Litchfield. They've also got a great website. It's West Street Grill. Dot com. And the recipe will be at bettercity.com. Thank you very much. Mm, Thank delicious. you.